And here we go, part 10. Ah, oh, we're getting somewhere. Uh, in this part, we will be making the zeppelins shootable by a simple mouse click. Uh, we'll later make them crash or uh, yeah, fall to the ground in a huge explosion. But let's just get the syntax done in this tutorial. So, first of all, open the goddamn game. And uh, we need a function. A neat little function to be able to detect if we shot the zeppelin or not. Uh, kind of physics related, to be honest. Uh, we may be, uh, be using it in another game, to uh, on a platformer, for example. So, let me just move the microphone here. And, let's go ahead. First of all, we do not want to have one million zeppelins when we're testing this, so let's make it only two zeppelins. You do that by editing the for loop that we made in the previous tutorial in the love.load function, in the main.lua file. So, let's keep, let's keep ourselves in the main.lua file and let's make the inside the box function. It will basically test if a point or pixel is inside a box that we have uh, set. So, I'm just gonna copy paste that one <laughs> from my older scripts and I'll explain it to you. Uh, you can download the code in the description under the video. Fancy, eh? <laughs> so, if, uh, well, first of all, the arguments. The first argu argument is the x position of the point that we want to test. Then the y position of the point. Then the x position of the left top corner of the box that we want to check. And the y position. So the x and y position of the left top corner. And the width and the height of the of the box. Don't ask me why I, I made it VYA. Don't really know myself. If the point is larger than the left side of the box and smaller or less than the right side of the box, then we know that it's in uh, between the left and the right side of the box. So we're nearly there. We know that it's nearly hitting the box. So let's test if it's between the bottom and the top of the box. So is the point higher than the top of the box? And is the point lower? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, let me get my head straight here. Is the point lower than the top of the box and higher than the bottom of the box? Then return true. So if it's <laughs> between the, the sides of the box and between the top and the bottom of the box, we know that the point is inside the box. Holy Jesus! If it's not, then return false. Control S, goddammit. Then go, go to mouse pressed, because we want uh, the shooting button to be the left mouse button. Wouldn't that be legit? I think it would. So if button equals equals L then so if the button is L which is the left mouse button ends shoot X Y so take the X and Y position from the mouse and put it inside the shoot function that we will make right now I suppose I just gotta check yes we are so uh, save this control s exit open entities.lua here we go uh, hmm. go to the bottom of the whole thing and start off by doing function ends dot shoot x y end always remember the end for i and in pairs I explain this in some of the previous tutorials, I believe. So let's go through all the entities where ent is the entity and y uh, i is the um, the id. No, not the id. The, the yeah, it's not important. <laughs> if ent dot die, then if the entity can die, if it's not invincible, then 
Uh, since we only want to sh be shooting down and zeppelins, and since zeppelins is a very custom-made entity, we will check if it is an zeppelin. When we get more entities in, like soldiers, uh, we have to make uh, make it check if it's a soldier too. So if it's a sep, that's what we called it. Then uh, we haven't declared the type on the entity. So let's go up here and put the type value in. So when you create a new entity, let's make it do type equals the name of the entity. This way we can check if the entity is of that type. Here we go. I did that now in the ends.create function. So don't, don't get lost. Uh, local hit equals so local hit equals inside box and uh, it's a couple of arguments that we need to put in here first of all as you can remember the x and the y position of the mouse entity x the x position of the entity entity y uh, now let's have a look at the texture for the zeppelin uh, it's kind of important that you understand this. As you can see, the picture is 1024 long, and the zeppelin is quite exactly half the way. So let's say it's the zeppelin is 512 pixels long when the scale is 1 to 1. Uh, we need to know this because we need to know how big the hitbox should be. If you don't know what a hitbox is, go ahead and Google it. You should, at least when you've played some CS or Counter-Strike, I mean, you should really know what hitboxes are. We also see that the Zeppelin is just about halfway down too, so since the picture is 256 high, let's make it 128 high, the hitbox. Let's go back, put that in here. So 512 long times the scale of the Zeppelin and size divided by 20. And 128 times the same fang. Fang. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think that's it there. Now, if the point is inside the hitbox we made, then hit will be true, right? So if hit, then let's do all the crazy shit. But for now, let's just make uh, the and the debugging console print out hit control s uh, let me have a look if we forgot something no i believe we have everything now so let's exit this file and let's test it um then expected near oh why didn't you tell me guys Oh, silly me. It's a for loop. Ah, how can I be so stupid? Well, well. Let's put it to the test. So, debugging console. We're pressing here. No, we cannot shoot it from here, but... Yes, when we hit the zeppelins. And notice, when we hit... When both of them are aligned and we shoot at them, we hit both of them. We get two hits out. And we can shoot them at the behind and they will survive and it will die and it will crash so let's make it uh, let's make the zeppelins explode and crash or start to smoke or lose hp in the next part and i'll see you then